Tapai also tape or tape, is traditional fermented rice found throughout much of Southeast Asia and parts of East Asia, especially in Austronesian cultures. It refers to both the alcoholic paste and the alcoholic beverage derived from it. It has a sweet or sour taste and can be eaten as as, as ingredients for traditional recipes, or fermented further to make rice wine which in some cultures are also called tapai. Tapai is traditionally made with white rice or glutinous rice, but can also be made from a variety of carbohydrate sources, including cassava and potatoes. Fermentation is performed by a variety of molds including Aspergillus orizae, Rhizopus orizae, Amylomyces roxy or mucor species, and yeasts including Saccharomyces cerevisiae, and Saccharomycopsis fibuliger, Endomycopsis bertoni and others, along with bacteria. Etymology Tapai is derived from Proto-Malayo-Polynesian asterisk tape, fermented food, which in turn is derived from Proto-Austronesian asterisk tapage, fermented food. Derived cognates has come to refer to a wide variety of fermented food throughout Austronesia, including yeasted bread and rice wine. Proto-Malayo-Polynesian asterisk tape and also refers to large earthen jars originally used for this fermentation process. Cognates in modern Austronesian languages include Tapayan, Tagalog, Tepayan, Iban, and Tempayan, Javanese and Malay. Topic: <laughs> Starter culture. Tapai is made by inoculating a carbohydrate source with the required microorganisms in a starter culture. This culture has different names in different regions, shown in the table below. The culture can be naturally captured from the wild, by mixing rice flour with ground spices include garlic, pepper, chili, cinnamon, cane sugar or coconut water, slices of ginger or ginger extract, and water to make a dough. The dough is pressed into round cakes, about 3 cm across and 1 cm thick, and left to incubate on trays with banana leaves under and over them for 2 to 3 days. They are then dried and stored, ready for their next use. Preparation Traditional Traditionally, cooked white rice or glutinous rice are fermented in tapayan jars. Depending on the length of time and various processes, tapai will result in a large number of end products. These include slightly fermented dough used for rice cakes Filipino galapong, dried fermented cakes Indonesian brem cakes, fermented cooked rice Filipino buro, tape, and yoruban, binubudan, binubaran, Indonesian, Malaysian tapai or tape, fermented rice with shrimp Filipino buro, balau balau, balabalo, tag ilo, fermented rice with fish Filipino buro, or various rice wines Filipino tapui, tapi, bubad, basi, pangasi, Indonesian brem wine. Topic Modern Topic Fermented rice gruel paste In modern times, in addition to rice, different types of carbohydrates such as cassava or sweet potatoes can also be used. The general process is to wash and cook the target food, cool to about 30 degrees Celsius, mix in some powdered starter culture, and rest in covered jars for one to two days. With cassava and sweet potato, the tubers are washed and peeled before cooking, then layered in baskets with starter culture sprinkled over each layer. The finished gruel will taste sweet with a hint of alcohol, and can be consumed as is, or left for several days more to become sourer. Rice wine Uses in cuisine Indonesia Tapai and its variants are usually consumed as it is, as a sweet mildly alcoholic snacks, to accompany tea in the afternoon. The sweet fermented tapai however, are often used as the ingredient in a recipe of certain dishes. 
Sundanese cassava puyam is the main ingredient for kalenic, a roasted fermented cassava tapai served with kinka sweet syrup made of grated coconut and liquid palm sugar. Kalenic is Sundanese portmanteau of dikokal enok which translates to tasty dip. Tapai uli is a roasted block of bland tasted ketan or pulit glutinous rice served with sweet tapai ketan or tapai pulit. The puyam goreng or tapai goreng, or known in Javanese as rondo royal is another example of Indonesian gorengan assorted fritters, which is deep-fried battered cassava tapai. In beverages, tapai, both cassava or glutinous rice, might be added into sweet iced concoction desserts, such as s champur and s dagar. Philippines <inaudible> <inaudible> In the Philippines, there are various tape derived dishes and drinks. They were originally referred to by the term tinape, literally, done through tape, as recorded by Antonio Pigafetta. But the term tinape is now restricted to bread in modern Filipino languages. The most common use of fermented rice is in galapong, a traditional Filipino viscous rice dough made by soaking and usually fermenting uncooked glutinous rice overnight and then grinding it into a paste. It is used as a base for various kakanan rice cakes notably puto and babinka. Fermented gruel type tape are also common, with various ethnic groups having their own versions like Tagalog and Kapampangan buro which is similar to Japanese narezushi, the Afugao binuburan, and the Maranao tape. Rice wines derived from tape include the Basi of Ilocos and the Tapui of Banawe and Mountain Province. Tapui is itself the end product of binuburan allowed to ferment fully. See also Amazaki Kam Ro Jinang Ro Nep Sake Tapayan Tapui